This painting depicts a startling scene, a naked woman on horseback galloping through the crowded streets. But who is this woman and why is she making such a bold and controversial move? What is the story behind the creation of this artwork? Was it medieval propaganda or just pagan myth? In today's video, we're going to tell you all about it. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. The woman in the painting is Lady Godiva. She was the wife of Leofric, the Earl of Mercia, who ruled over a large part of England in the 11th century. She was a devout Christian and a generous patron of churches and monasteries and tried her best to help the people around her, no matter what the cost she had to pay. She is mainly remembered for a legend that dates back to at least the 13th century in which she rode naked through the streets of Coventry to protest against oppressive taxes that her husband imposed on his people. The most widely accepted version of the story says that Lady Godiva was compassionate and empathetic towards the people of Coventry, who were enduring a lot of hardships under her husband's excessive taxation. Lady Godiva repetitively implored her husband to lower the taxes, but he blatantly refused to do so. However, she refused to give up and kept persisting until he changed his mind on the matter. At least, after being fed up with her persistent request, he said he would agree to her demand if she would ride naked on a horse through the streets of the town in front of everyone. Lady Godiva took his words seriously, and after making a proclamation that all the people should remain indoors and shut their windows tightly, she rode through the town, with nothing on her body except her long hair. Only one person in the town, a tailor who later became known as Peeping Tom disobeyed her proclamation in the most famous example of spying. In one of the versions of the painting, the character of Peeping Tom can actually be seen in the painting. He is depicted as a small shadowy figure standing in the corner in the far right corner of the painting. According to the lore, Peeping Tom was later struck blind as heavenly punished. Many people also believed that the townspeople took the matter into their own hands and blinded him for what he had done. Another view is that Lady Godiva was not fully nude, but wore her underwear when she rode her horse. She had to remove her jewels and decorations, which might have meant that her body was naked. Well, whatever the case might be, one thing is for sure. This particular legend has inspired many artists, writers, and poets over the centuries. They have portrayed Lady Godiva as a symbol of freedom, justice, and beauty. However, some historians have questioned the authenticity and accuracy of the legend, arguing that there is no evidence that Lady Godiva ever performed such a ride and that it may have been a later invention or embellishment. Either way, it is what inspired the famous yet controversial masterpiece of John Collier, an English artist who worked in the style of pre-Raphaelite brotherhood. The painting shows Lady Godiva at the moment of her decision before she begins her ride. She appears to be a beautiful, fair-haired woman with a long braid that covers most of her body. She is riding a white horse that is draped with a red cloth. She seems to be looking straight ahead in her direction with a calm and determined expression, as if she is unaware or indifferent to the eyes of the people watching her. The woman who modeled for this work of art is believed to have been the model and West End theater actress who also posed for Collier as herself. The background of the painting is a stylized representation of Coventry with medieval buildings, towers, and arches. The colors are mostly warm and earthly with some touches of blue and green. The painting is made in a realistic and detailed style but also has a romantic and idealized mood to it. One of the reasons why the painting initially came off as a shocker for people is because Collier did not shy away from the boldness in his artwork. He showed Lady Godiva's nudity and beauty without shame which was considered indecent by some critics and viewers at the time. Not only that, by creating this particular work of art, he also emphasized on her courage and dignity, portraying Lady Godiva as a heroic figure who defies social norms and conventions for a noble cause. What the work of art and what the nakedness of the noblewoman actually symbolizes is the desperate state of the poor classes of that time and the suffering of the oppressed people. Collier used bright colors and a grand style to create contrast between the beauty of Lady Godiva and the ugliness of the social situation. This contrast makes the story more tragic and powerful and appealing for the viewers. That, however, was not enough for the critics and the public audience to be more accepting towards the painting. This masterpiece has been criticized since the day of its creation. 
It was first exhibited at the Royal Academy of Arts in London in 1898, where it attracted both admiration and criticism. Some praised it as a unique and significant asset of artistry and symbolism, while others condemned it as immoral and vulgar. Some even suggested that it should be removed from public view or covered with a curtain. In other words, they wanted to censure it or hide it completely. The controversy continued when Collier tried to donate the painting to various institutions. He first offered it to Hampstead Town Hall in London where he lived, but they rejected it because they feared it would offend public decency. He then offered it to the Coventry City Hall, hoping that they would appreciate its connection to their local history and legend. However, there was no luck. They also refused it because it thought it would damage their reputation as a modern industrial city. Really makes us think about the power that one painting can hold, doesn't it? Anyways, eventually, Collier found a willing recipient in Thomas Hancock Nunn, a social reformer who admired Lady Godiva's spirit of philanthropy and justice. Nunn bequeathed the painting to Coventry's Herbert Art Gallery and Museum in 1937, where it still hangs today. The painting has also been judged and criticized for its interpretation and meaning. Some have seen it as a feminist statement celebrating Lady Godiva's empowerment and agency. Others have seen it as a sexist objectification, exploiting Lady Godiva's vulnerability and sexuality. Some have seen it as a historical representation, honoring Lady Godiva's legacy and legend. Some people, however, do not believe in legend at all. They think it is all fictional and fantasy, with no basis on reality. They disregard the historical and cultural context of the painting and fail to appreciate its artistic value. Well, either way, despite or because of its controversy, the painting has had a lasting impact on art and culture. It has influenced many other artists who have created their own versions of Lady Godiva in different media and styles. It has also inspired many adaptations, parodies, and references in literature, film, music, and even chocolate. It has become one of the most recognizable and iconic images of Lady Godiva and one of the most popular and visited paintings in Coventry. Lady Godiva by John Kellier is a painting that has fascinated and divided audiences for over a century. It has also sparked debates and discussions about art, history, and society. Not only that, but it has also challenged and provoked viewers to think about issues such as nudity, sexuality, morality, power, and the impact they have on their everyday lives. Lady Godiva by Collier is a painting that tells a story of a woman who risked everything for a cause she believed in. It is a painting that reflects the values and controversies of its time and ours, and that is one of the biggest reasons why it is a work of art that deserves to be seen and discussed as a significant asset of history. Click on any of the two videos on screen right now for more content.